Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Wired Freedom electric bike. What makes this e-bike stand out in the pack is it has a 60 volt battery and a 40 amp controller capable of sending around 2000 watts to the rear hub motor. Oh. All of this power on tap can take this bike well past 30 miles per hour, closer to 40 from what I've seen online. Holy smokes, dude. Considering all this comes in at a price tag of around $2,000, this might be one of the most wicked offerings on the internet. But in today's video, we're gonna find out what the Wired Freedom is made of. And it looks like we've got the blue one. You guys have no idea how excited I am about this bike. Come on. We'll have to check this box out. Come on, out and play. And this one came with a nice little handwritten note. And here's the goods. And dang, dude, that is not a normal motor. That thing has some serious size to it. Here's a first peek at the rear suspension, which it is full suspension. And this one actually came with a second rear shock. We'll have to take a look at this in a few. And a little message here telling us to change this. Wired. It's got Tektro hydraulic brakes with Tektro hydraulic rotors, 180 millimeters, drilled and slotted, the good stuff. It's got the typical 26 by four inch tires, Chao Yang, comes with plastic fenders, branded wired, but what we really need, we gotta get to that battery. The 60 volt 40 amp controller is mounted externally in this box, which pulls its power from this 60 volt 20 amp hour battery pack. That is 1,200 watt hours of energy. If you haven't noticed by now, increasing the voltage not only increases speed, but also has other benefits. And for those of you new to e-bikes, it doesn't really matter what a motor is rated for. A motor does not produce any power. A motor simply takes power that is sent to it. The way it works is you have an energy reservoir right here. This controller pulls the power from the battery and sends it to the motor, which in this case is a 2,000 watt Hentac motor. Now the controller on here is listed as a 40 amp 60 volt controller. That is 2,400 watts. So according to the specs I'm reading on the website, that controller could in theory pull 2,400 watts and send it to that motor. And that is a substantially higher number than we typically see on these style e-bikes, especially at the price this thing is listed for. And the icing on the cake is this full suspension. And I gotta say, I really like this blue color too. But truthfully, I'd take this bike in any color. This is hilarious. Class two e-bike, huh? 750 watts, 20 mile per hour. Man. Dang, just when I had my hopes up. Let's take a closer look at this battery. The battery is by far one of the most important components on any e-bike. Let's take a closer look at this. So it does say 60 volt, 20 amp hour. Energy is in fact listed as 1200 watt hours. It's the amount of gas you have in your tank. And as we can see here, there are LG cells in this battery. Set that down, it's got some weight to it. And the kind of cells that come in a battery is an important factor. LG is a good brand. Let's see what else we get. Which charger? Pretty typical D power. How many amps? Nice. Three amps. So a 60 volt battery charged up to max is actually 67.2 volts. Typically the 48 volt batteries I see come with like a 54.6 volt charger. So you can see this bike has a significant higher voltage compared to our normal e-bikes I review. A 20 amp hour battery pack charging at three amps that take about 6.6 .6 hours to charge from empty to full. But this one is actually already almost full. So we'll just top that off while we finish over here. Comes with basic pedals. Oh, nice, a little bit of touch up paint. This is the first e-bike I've seen that comes with color match touch-up paint. Sweet. And a wired e-bikes manual. We'll definitely have to be getting into here. As you can see, this is the step over frame, which does have rear suspension, but they also make this bike in a step through variation, which is a hard tail. And it also costs less for the step through. So if you're trying to save a little bit of money and you don't care about rear suspension, you could get the step through frame. All this stuff is linked below in the description box. And of course, if you did decide you want to buy this bike later, if you buy through that link in the description box, it would help support my reviews. Also, you can get a little freebie thrown in with your bike. The seat that comes on the bike is branded wired. It's wide and squishy, looks comfy. It's got a quick release lever for easy adjustment. And of course the same Tektro hydraulic caliper up front. Handlebars. Bro, these are six millimeter bolts. Most e-bikes have four millimeter bolts up here. Display. We'll check it out soon. What do we got under here? Ooh, got some faux leather ergonomic style hand grips, bolted down so they're not gonna rotate on you. Tektro hydraulic brake levers, super basic controls for pedal assist and power. On the right side, now we're talking twist throttle on the right and our typical seven speed Shimano shifter. This e-bike comes with a quick release axle and the front suspension, oh, no brand on it. And the front suspension has a basic open or lock adjustment. We'll see how bright it is here in a moment, but it has a couple adjustment points, which is nice. 
pop that front wheel on, secure it down. Check out the rear rack. Pretty typical, looks like it's got a spot for some panniers. Rear light, it is wired up to the battery. Wonder if it's a brake light. Let's flip this thing around. Dude, you can just hear that motor. It's got some power. You can feel it. Sounds wicked. Here's the lettering stamped on it. Seven speeds on the Shimano Cog. Pretty typical tourney derailleur. This will help keep your frame clean from any grease on the chain. KMC chain. And a rather large gear up front here for higher speed pedaling. Tires call for 20 PSI. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Get this battery locked in. It's powered up. Wired. So we get a relatively nice looking color display. Miles per hour right here up front and center. Motor power. Heck yeah. And then we get a voltage readout on the battery. Awesome. With a cool little uh, green fading to orange battery life uh, indicator there. So I love that this bike gives us voltage of the battery and also motor power. And a temperature of the room. Not a bad thing to have. Let's tab through the menus here. Average speed. So this motor must have been tested. Max speed. Miles per hour. All right. Simple stuff. Then you get your uh, odometer down in the bottom right, as well as distance and time. Oh, and of course, the uh, pedal assist. So you get out of the box five levels. Pretty crisp looking display, really. But now let's see what this motor is made of. All right, we need to change the max speed. So turn this thing on, then hold these two buttons for. Oh, yeah, there we go. Speed. Oh, no, no. 20 kilometers an hour. You got to be kidding me. Uh, so you can change quite a few things in here. It looks like the uh, only one I'm going to mess with right now would be. Well, you already know. Change that from 32 kilometers an hour to 40 would be 28 miles an hour. Oh, we can go to 50 kilometers. 70, 72 kilometers an hour is the max. 44 miles per hour would be the very max that this motor would let you do. If you're really modded out, you could probably change your wheel diameter. Pedal assist five, full throttle now. Oh, oh. It'll hit 45 and cut you off. My goodness. So just to give you an idea, I'll throw the seat on max height. Here's what a six foot five dude looks like sitting on this. Nice upright riding position. And if you drop the seat all the way down to the lowest position, I have a 34 inseam. Here's what it looks like for someone of my size. Handlebars have a nice rise to them. To turn on the headlight, you'd press and hold that button. And it's a pretty bright headlight, really. There's how bright it looks like up on the wall there. You can point it, change the adjustment. If you look at it, you'll be blinded by the light. The tail light is integrated into the battery. Pulling on the brake lever, it does light up as a brake light. So it is full suspension. We'll see how it feels out on the road. It's reading some words of wisdom here. If you obey all the rules, you miss all the fun. All right, let's get the wired unwired and see how wicked the freedom is. And we are gonna bring the second spring. This one basically just has like a little bit more length to it. So I don't know, there possibly could be maybe a clearance issue. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this 60 volt system. So let's run it up to 20%. All right, dudes, as you can see, the GoPro completely failed me on the first ride. I had several problems on this ride. Come on, GoPro, you have one job. The next major one was the derailleur guard was bent, preventing the shifter from using the gears properly. This is actually a good thing because they shipped the bike with a derailleur guard, so it prevents your derailleur from getting damaged. Also, during this first ride, I swapped out the shock to the longer shock length. So yeah, dude, check it out. If you look down here on the back of the controller box, you can see it's like a little rubber mark. It, the tire's actually hitting it. So after about 15 failed attempts at looking at the new suspension and seeing if it scrapes, we can see that the longer spring does fix the clearance problem. And all of the new bikes that are shipping out will come with the longer spring. And the final and most significant problem I had, let me tell you about it. All right, dudes, I made a terrible mistake on the first day shooting with this bike. I discovered that you can actually unleash about 25% more power. So on the first day, the bike was actually only running 1500 watts of power. 1400 watts. Which actually wasn't bad. The bike went pretty fast, but I just knew there was a little bit more in it. 34, 35. So I found out how to unlock the full 
2000 watts. So you turn this thing on and then right away within like two seconds, you press and hold the up down button. So we have the max speed unlocked, but what I failed to realize is you have to go over to the C5 setting and you go to C5 and you change this up to 10 and that's what unlocks the full 2000 watts. So this is gonna be dialed up quite a bit more from yesterday. And then if you go on down to C14 and change this to three, that gives you more power for pedal assist. So we'll go ahead and bump that up to three as well. All right, dude, 66.7 volts, let's get out of here. Actually, it dropped to 666. This thing might be as wicked as I thought. That's hilarious. <laughs> Not really sure on exactly what I'm gonna do today, but we'll start with the Strava. Let's go ahead and start with a rip up the 20% grade. So full first time, 2000 watts, let's try it out. Oh yeah, now it's showing over 2,000, 2,300. Sorry, I can't even talk anymore, apparently. So there is a bit of a tailwind here, but we're gonna hop on this thing and do zero to 20 now when it has, uh, well, it said 2,000 watts, but I saw that thing showing over 2,000. So uh, let's give it a rip, ready, go. Oh yeah, you can feel this thing. Oh my, 2,000, 2,200 watts, 2,300 watts. Now it's dropping down to like 21. Holy smokes, dude, this thing freaking rips. This is so much faster now. Now we're doing 34, 35. I'm gonna let off for a second. Oh, a speed bump. Uh, full throttle. I'm gonna shift it some gears here too. And probably give it a little bit of pedal assistance maybe now that my gears are fixed. 36, 37, 38 according to the onboard, 37 according to GPS. Holy smokes, dude, it's showing 1,800 watts. 1,877 is showing 38 on the GPS. Oh my God, dude. Actually, not even pedaling, it goes 38. Wow. Dude, this electric bicycle is insane. Let's just zero to 20 just for fun. Ready, go. Man, it just gives you that power right away. So I've got that like 2,200 watts. Dude, we're at 28, 29. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh shoot, I had the pedal assist on one, I think. Now that I actually have the gear set up right, uh, this thing will give you just like, you know, you can be on gear number seven and have like a nice cadence pedal assist one and giving you about 350 watts of power. Let's try pedal assist too. Uh, pretty gentle, a little bump up. Just giving us a casual 620 watts now, cruising at 18 miles an hour. Pedal assist three now. Now we're looking at uh, about a thousand watts, 974 watts of power, cruising at 23. So pretty good cadence still here, cruising at about 24 miles an hour. So as I suspected, the the gear, the big chain ring on the front really makes this thing geared nicely for cruising at high speeds, which I mean, that's what you're gonna do on this bike. Pedal assist four now. Now we're getting up there, but uh, 1300, 1400 watts. This is kind of like where we were peaking out yesterday. Let's hit that pedal assist five and pass this Tesla. So yeah, now it's showing about 2000 watts of power here. And we've been, we've been holding this speed for quite a while now going into headwind here. Woo. This thing freaking rips. Oh my goodness. How do you ever go back to 48 volts after experiencing, after experiencing 60 volts? My God, dude. So I'm kind of curious how long I can just keep running 2000 watts like this, because dude, this is, this is serious power to have on a electric bicycle. So I was kind of planning on just coming out here doing a, a high speed run, putting it away, but I, I can't, dude. It's just, this thing is too much fun. One downside of running 2,000 watts though is uh, you, you'll have the ability to drain your battery way faster. <laughs> I mean, power is literally energy divided by time. Energy is the amount of watt hours in your tank, the, get, the battery, and power is just energy divided by time. So 2,000 watts, I mean, if you're pushing it like this, I mean, how can you ride this bike and not ride it like this though? I mean, so yesterday when I was riding this thing at 1400 watts, 1500 watts is basically what it was giving me. It was pretty impressive, but you know, like I was saying, whew, I was just kind of expecting it to have a little more zip. And today changing those settings really has given me the extra zip, exactly what I was looking for. So I love the gearing on this thing. It's, uh, it's geared just right for a high speed bike. Let's see what it can do here. Pedal assist five. Yeah, 
got into a headwind here doing 35. I don't even feel like I need to be in a bike lane, dude. I might be going over the speed limit on this road. I'm gonna rip across here and get this thing off road a little bit too. I mean, it's got the fat tires and the full suspension. This, <laughs> oh my God, dude. This thing is just, <laughs> all right. I might be getting a little out of control here. This thing is genuinely insane. <laughs> ah, 2000 watts. Just, it just keeps running. Oh shoot, police, police. I'm pedaling. We could do the zero to 20 in our normal spot here too. So ready, go. 15, 20, 25. These bikes don't know nothing about this thing. Oh my God. I will say, man, after you change the pedal assist thing from two up to three, uh, you really gotta be careful about having a pedal assist five. Like if you start moving your pedals, it's gonna give you all 2K watts and man, it, you really feel it. Like it could, it could accidentally throw you out the back. Honestly, dude, today I'm not even taking the uh, bike path. I'm just, I'm just ripping the streets. All right, we'll pop on the trail here just for a minute. What do we got here? Moped style bikes, some other, some other uh, electric bicycles. Let's see what we can do here. This thing is just ripping by everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got it up to like 38 or so. Oh, wow. Yeah, this it's one's only a, 31. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one's a 60 volt system, so it's a little That's extra nice. pep. Yeah. Man. That extra speed is always good. I know, man. It's crazy. I, I just tuned. I uh, just changed the settings to unlock 2,000 watts or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm like five miles into this ride, and the battery's all, all the way down to 63 volts. So, I mean, I just got to show you can you can burn through a battery quick when you have this much power on tap. You're not careful. Dude, we might be able to take on some of those bikes with this thing. <laughs> on a bike like this, I think it's important to remember you do have brake cutoff sensors. So all you got to do is pull in this brake lever a little bit uh, if you get in like slow situations so you don't accidentally apply that uh, pedal assistance because you don't want to accidentally surprise yourself with this much power when you're at a stop, man. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. So if you get yourself in a situation where you're near people, just remember to put your hands on the brake levers so the cadence sensor won't accidentally kick in and give you all 2200 watts of power. So check it out, dude. I don't know if you guys knew this, but 750 watts is one horsepower. This bike is basically three horsepower as much as, well, three of these guys, technically. Just gotta get out here and make, make use of this full suspension fat tires. I feel like this thing could like rip a burnout pretty easily. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I'm getting like slowed up by all these people. I'm gonna try and do a little shortcut. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Ugh. Yeah. Dude, those things are cool, but you can't take them out here, man. Let's take this thing for one more rip through the sand with full power, full 2,000 watts. My God, dude. I don't even think we need to go down to the water today, man. This thing is just absolutely decimating out here. Give it a little pedal assistance. It's just pulling 2,200 watts. Still ripping 2,200 watts, man. If we get down here, this thing <laughs> pop up here. Whoa. Up the hill. Still pulling 2200 watts. No problem, throttle only. 2200 watts still. Yeah, just ripping through here, man. Eight miles an hour still. And then once we hit the boardwalk, we're launching. Give it a little brake test here from 20. I mean, these are hydraulic 180 millimeter Tektro brakes, so yeah. They work as good as I thought they would. Pretty much excellent. So as I mentioned in a lot of my reviews, uh, some companies will cheap out on brakes, give you mechanical brakes or smaller rotors or some sort of like off-brand brakes. These ones are great. And sometimes even if they have good brakes, the levers will kind of suck, but these levers feel good to the hand too. Let's give it one more slam on the brakes here. Uh, gotta love it, man. So, hey, man, final thoughts on the Wired Freedom. I mean, if you're looking for a fat tire e-bike that absolutely rips for right around 2,200 bucks, I really don't think you can go wrong with this bike. 
I mean, 38 miles an hour, massive battery, full suspension, strong 2000 watt continuous motor, hydraulic disc brakes. For 2200 bucks, I really don't think there's much else out there that can compete with this bike. And if you do want to grab one, if you buy through the link below this video in the description box, that would help support my reviews here at Tell Happy TV. And of course, I'd greatly appreciate your support. Well, let's head on home and see what kind of final range we can get out of this battery. So, I mean, we're 8.8 .8 miles into this ride right now, and we're at 61 volts. So this just really goes to show how much battery you can actually rip through uh, when you have so much power on tap. Let's see if we can pass these people on the inside here going through this way. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I think it's actually gonna work. That's crazy. <laughs> Heck yeah. Wow. This thing is an animal. Let's take these this route too. Oh, yeah. This is like the perfect bike for out here. Woo get up here too i forgot to downshift so it's motor power only <laughs> no problem oh man police though don't worry where they go brother? there is a zoo out here today man brake levers brake levers see what kind of speed it's got in it now down to 61 volts yeah about 36.8 and it'll do that on a throttle only so they're on 37 37.6 my goodness <laughs> so on day two here after i swapped out that spring check it out i'm gonna hit this uh, speed bump i don't notice the tire hitting the control box anymore it's like i don't know i don't think that hit i couldn't hear or tell you just hear the uh fender rattle just a little bit And on today's ride, 14.6 miles an hour of, and five minutes of ride time, showing about 59 volts on the battery, even though that says three out of five bars, you know, I'd say this battery is kind of more like 50%, uh, 50%. So, <laughs> I mean, that just goes to show if you're running 2200 watts, 2000 watts of power, you can drain a big battery fast. But just keep in mind, you don't have to run this thing as hard as I'm running it. You could probably get significantly more range out of this. But uh, even, even like maxing it out, you know, just pushing it to its max, you should be able to get at least 20 miles on this thing. Sorry, did I say 20 miles? I mean, I meant to say 30 miles. If you're ripping this thing, because yeah, a 60 volt battery is basically, you know, 59 volts, 60 volts at the 50% point. So yeah, if you, double that say at least 30 miles ripping it throttle only high speed sand all that stuff but i mean if you, if you have it on trickle you could easily do you know 50 miles or more anyway final final thoughts on this bike this thing's awesome if you're thinking about getting it just buy it click the link below this video you'll have a huge smile on your face however i know this bike's not for everybody if you don't think this is for you watch this video next catch you over there